Welcome to HeadShop 13 standalone application for Macintosh. Use HeadShop 13 to create 3D heads from a single photo. What's new in HeadShop 13 Mac? We added Love Child, a photo morphing module that lets you mix two different portraits into a new in-between image. There's also a new tab to modify profiles in a simple, intuitive way. We also improve skin color matching for the whole body. When you launch HeadShop, the first setup screen offers a choice between using a single photo or creating a love child between two images. Let's first look at creating a love child. After loading two portraits in the left and right box and clicking Perform Love Child, the program creates a new image in the middle. By moving the slider left or right, you can change the degree of resemblance more to the one or the other photo. For this tutorial, we'll select a single photo to better demonstrate the new profile tab. Notice that HeadShop will auto-detect 35 points of the face and also auto-detect the gender. If you create a love child, gender must be selected manually. If the top of head semicircle is not on the right place, we need to manually adjust it. Also, the right genesis figure has to be selected on the bottom right. Click Apply. Next, you will see the work screen with six tabs on top. The original photo is shown on the left, the 3D head on the right. Rotate around the 3D head to see if it looks right. You may use the smooth slider to correct distortions. The next tab is Features. Most tabs are optional, you can export at any time. In Features, you can check Age, Weight, and Smile if you want to export these morphs. The following tab is the new Profile tab. Using the Browse button, you can upload a profile reference image if you have one. Use the navigation cross to align your head to the right profile view. Open the profile library and click on the nose that closely resembles your model. The slider lets you adjust the profile if needed. The next tab is Style, where you can select and drag a hairstyle over to the right. Drag and size the hair to fit the 3D head. The Accessory tab works the same as Style and can add eyeglasses or hats to the model. Finally, the Color tab allows you to assign color to the hair. When happy with the results, click on the Export button. Create a project folder and save all your files in there. When launching DAS Studio, make sure you load a figure that corresponds to the saved files. Here we have loaded a Genesis 8 female. We can start by importing the base morph created by HeadShop. In the Edit menu of DAS Studio, launch Figure Morph Loader Pro and browse for your project folder. Load HeadShopProject.obj. This morph will show up in DAS Studio's Parameter tab under Morphs. Move the slider from 0 to maybe 60. Observe how the morph changes the head shape. You can load the additional age, weight, and smile morphs and try them out.
Now it's time to load textures in the Surfaces tab. Select Surfaces, Face, Diffuse, Color, and browse for Face in your Project folder under Textures. Use the same texture for lips. Now load the eye texture from your project texture folder and apply it to cornea, irises, pupils, and sclera. The last task is to load the hair OBJ using file import and using poser scale. Adjust the position and load the hair texture and you're done. Matching skin colors. We start with Genesis 8 and importing the face morph. Next, in the Surfaces tab, we import the face texture and going to the lip, applying the same texture there as well. It is obvious that there is a very poor match between the face and the rest of the body. To fix this, we select the skin, lips, nail section and go to the transparency color. Clicking on the default reddish color will bring up the color picker. Thankfully, Daz Macintosh Color Picker has an eyedrop tool so we can pick the best skin color and drag it to the sample area. Clicking OK, we are back into the Surface tab, where we can change the transparency value from default 0 0.65 to 0 0.80. Let's do a sample render using NVIDIA's L-Ray Render Engine. It is clear that the face and skull still don't match. This time we select face and set it to 0 0.70 and lips set to 0 0.60. Now they look much better.